Construction works on the East African Kudo pipeline, a 1,443-kilometer, 24-inch diameter heated and buried crude oil pipeline could begin soon, at least according to the project line manager. We are now working on the actual compensation of project affected persons. We have teams in the field and that has to be completed before we dig a trench. The environmental certification was completed. That one, we are not worried. Now the other key issue is who is digging the trench. The contractors have to have fully committed contracts and that has to be done by the ECOP company, which we are finalizing. So there are things that have to be done so that uh, then you can see a trench in the ground. The Uganda-Tanzania project, the longest pipeline project in the world, should bring immense opportunities for small and medium enterprises. Sector observers say businesses must position themselves well and rush to cash in on opportunities. Oil and gas, the next phase that we are going into, has opportunities that are worth $100 billion. And 16 sectors have been ring-fenced for our local farms to benefit. Now, in those 16 spaces, there are, there are sectors that uh, inevitably will be reserved for medium-sized businesses. If you look at, for instance, if you look at legal services, if you look at accounting services. But there are others where locals can compete. If you look at issues of uh, accommodation, if you look at issues of food, not everyone who comes to, the, uh, to Hoima will want to send a five-star hotel. So, so long as you have your two rooms that are clean, that have Wi-Fi and someone can work, you can still tap into, don't think that because you are far away from the oil field, you can't benefit. Enterprises seeking to take a share of the oil and gas business can do so by registering with the Petroleum Authority on its online national supplier database.